Hello everybody and welcome back to Operation Logistics where the compiler just pointed out to me that we are comparing int3 with null, which since int3 is not a nullable type will always return false. That is correct, it's a problem. It's not the problem, but it's a problem and it's easy to fix. So let's go ahead and do it. So int3.null and int3.null. Null does not have a J in it. Okay. Well, that was easy. <laughs> that was perhaps a little too easy. Like I said, I, I already know that that's not the problem that we're having with the pathfinding off of the first and final world hex. Because I already tested it with this run here. Path succeeded with 25, 23 steps and it still did the same thing. So we know for a fact that that's not the problem but it could potentially be a problem later, so thanks, compiler. Good job, buddy. Now, if only you'd tell me what was going on with our kit entry cost. Oh, boy. Maybe what we need to know is actually when we add in the pathfinding parent, maybe what we need here is information debugging out. There won't be that many. There will be a lot, but there won't be that many that this is going to hugely slow this down. And then we can output just the uh, current, or rather we would debug.log current.pathfindingparent.g. I just want to know the G value. So let's go ahead and check that. So let's run this and we will find out if the G outside of the world hex is going up by 1 or 1000. I expect it to be going up by 1000, but uh, I guess we'll see. If it's going up by 1, then everything is returning true, which would mean that this is very broken off of the first and final world hex, which would mean, I think, that we are passing in something unexpected here for A and B. But we're passing in the current to the, to the next hex. Right? Because on in the pathfinding, we go here, we pass in the, uh, it's down in this pathfinding here, current.g plus building.getEntryCost. Building is our neighboring building, and then we pass in current as the argument. So it's always current, and then the, yeah, current is the from building, and then building is the building in question. So yeah, that's as expected. So uh, let's go ahead and do something relatively short, actually. I'm going to go ahead and purchase this land right here. Yep. And as usual, demolish it, create a route, select the route, zoom out, and we are going to be going, this is our hex here. I want to go somewhere pretty close so that this isn't super slow. We're going to go here, and it should pathfind correctly here. Uh, I don't know if it's going to go to this hex or this hex. It'll do one or the other. And I guess we will just find out. Edit root, and bam. It went down. Okay. That's fine. So yeah, that's pretty much as expected. And then over here, as expected, it just did that. Hang on a moment. Hang on a moment. What is it doing here? So there's a join here, and then it goes to this hex? Why does this hex have a connection over here? See, I was thinking, yet yeah, that 
that's fine. Go away. The LC is a little more important right now. So, hmm. I mean, we can see here there's a connection right up to apparently this hex. Fascinating. And then this goes to here, which then connects into here, which of course is wrong. That's a known bug. But one thing I'm wondering is a lot of these seem to be going just directly from exit point to exit point. But then there's the weird things like this. Maybe this is just a connection directly to here. I don't know. Let's take a bit of a closer look up over here. Exit point to exit point to exit point. Exit point to exit point. Okay. Let's take a quick look at what's going on over here. It only output 22, which is interesting. Because we know that there should be a lot of steps. But some of these in the middle here are, well, interesting. There should be more than 22 steps, right? But yeah, 189 steps. Did I do this in the wrong one? I may have done it in the wrong one. I suspect I did. This is the Vector 3 one. Yeah. Because this was done in the biome hexes. That explains a lot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... Go ahead and cut that and bring that down here into the building to Vector 3. And we're just going to paste that in. Nope. We're going to paste that in right here. About like that. There. Now we should have a little bit more information. Instead of telling us in biome hexes, because in biome hexes it should always just be one. Which I believe it was. 19 steps, up to 18, yep, that's correct. Okay, let's try this again, this time in building hexes. <laughs> Tends to help. Assuming it goes. There we go. Okay, so. What am I expecting to see out of this? I'm expecting to see a lot of increases of 1,000. That's what I'm expecting to see. In the first hex and the final hex, it should be pretty much exclusively increases of 1. Except for the very first step. And then once we exit the first world hex, then I expect it to start going up by 1,000 every time. Which would mean... something. But first let's even see if that happens. I mean, if it's going up by one every time, that explains a lot, but also I don't know how that happened. Well, that one took a little time. So we're gonna do basically the same thing. We're going to purchase this brewery, and we are going to demolish it. And then create a root. Select the root. And we're here, so we want to go here. We'll go into edit root mode, and bam. Has succeeded with 200 steps. And as expected, it is working 100% correctly in the first and last world hex. And in this one, not so correctly. See, I'm not convinced that it's actually traveling through these hexes. Maybe it's a... Well, if it's a problem with adjacency, we should have it in all of the hexes, right? 
Anyway, well, let's let's take a look at what's going on here. So, our very first step here is a thousand, which I expected. Where are we? We are down here. So our very first step here is a thousand, which I expected going onto a road. Then we have a second one thousand step. Then we have a bunch of ones. Theoretically, until we go up to here. 3056 to 4056. You know, it might help us, actually, if we output something more along the lines of string.format, and then this would be 0, colon, 1. And then what we would put in there would be the... Let's see, this is a current, which is, I believe, a building? Yes. So we would do current dot pathfinding parent dot location, which of course is an int three dot two string. Like that. And then we need a closing parenthesis here. No. Closing parenthesis. Like so. And now we'll be able to see when it actually transitions world hexes. And that should give us a little bit more information, theoretically. Well, Unity, are you, uh, are you gonna go? There we go. That took it a long time to compile that. It seems a little strange. I blame the editor memory leak. As I normally do. Okay, so let's go ahead and generate this on up. The thing is, this time is exceptionally variable, and I believe that a lot of that has to do with our implementation of Voronoi noise. That's something that we can look at optimizing later on. But for right now, let's just go ahead in here and buy land. Purchase this house, demolish that house, create a route, select the route, and we'll just travel, say, here. There we go. 351 steps, and as usual, working fine within the first and final world hex, but not so fine within the intervening world hexes. So let's see here. Our first world hex should be 309. And it is indeed. So this is our first couple of steps here. Obviously, it takes us a little bit to get onto the road. But then once we get onto the road, it is smooth sailing until we exit the world hex. And then once we exit the world hex, is right here ish yeah right here this is when we exit the road theoretically so we go to 359 24 26 but let me just uh, pop open this world hex here so we can actually see what's going on okay with the biome hex open we can then easily see that uh, we go to uh, it went all the way down to the bottom so we went to 359, 24.1 as our first, no, 24.26. So 359, correct. This biome hex is 24, that is correct. This building hex is 26, that is correct. And then the next one we went to was 60. Is that this guy? Well, that's the building mesh. Is that this guy? Yes. Okay, so we now know for a fact that it is viewing these as not connected. And the question is, 
why is it viewing these as not connected? Because we know for a fact that it's viewing them as not connected because it is going from here to here rather than going from here straight to here. And it's increasing by a thousand, which is our measure of when it's not connected. Also, we know that it's not connected from here to here, or rather from here to here. Or that it views itself as not being connected. So that's interesting. So we're doing this in the building. Okay. So let's come in here. And actually it would be in the world hex. We can't see it because the inspector doesn't actually show it, which is unfortunate. So we can't really see our building neighbors unless we were to debug lock it. But now we know for an absolute fact what the issue is. And then the question is, how do we go about addressing this issue? That, however, is something for the next episode. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time.